every mother will get see it. Everybody's gonna jump for joy. Mother will get here. All the pigeons gonna run to him. Come on. Mother will get here, everybody's gonna
take no notice of unseasonable weather, especially when there's a Scottish FA Cup semi-final to be seen. And that's how it was at Celtic Park. Motherwell or Clyde for the final. At this stage, it was a toss-up. When the match got going, Motherwell wearing shirts with a wide band, it was soon obvious that a dour struggle was in prospect. Clyde were first to show up with a concerted attack, and urged on by their supporters, they soon had Motherwell hard-pressed. Tied open the scoring through Johnny Coyle. Already it began to look as if Clyde would be meeting Rangers or Hibernian in that final. It looked more likely still when Coyle beat the defence again. Two up in the first half, Clyde were determined to put themselves in an impregnable position. There was no holding them at this point, and in the 53rd minute, Johnny Coyle got his hat trick. Three naught for Clyde, but now Motherwell staged a really magnificent recovery. They thrilled the crowd with a goal by Quinn. One three, and from now to the end of the match, it was all Motherwell. Only two more goals and they'd force a replay. But in the event, they could only produce one more. So it's tried for the final. Eighty-five thousand made up the great crowd at Hampden Park. Caldo won the toss for Rangers, and it was soon evident that that famous team were determined to be in the final. Time and again, the Motherwell goal was bombarded. Rangers' pressure brought its reward. Wilson passed to Murray, and he scored. Five minutes later, Henderson put Murray in possession for that brilliant centre to get another goal. <laughs> Half-time, Rangers 2, Motherwell nil. Being two down didn't daunt Motherwell. A pass by Delaney was taken by Roberts. Goal for Motherwell. Rangers were not content with a one-goal lead. They thought Murray had scored a hat-trick, but he was offside. <laughs> Within two minutes of the final whistle, Rangers made doubly sure of victory. Wilson scored goal number three. 
So it's Rangers to meet St. Mirren in the final. is Movie Tone, Jeffrey Shelley reporting. An invasion of Scots came pouring into Wembley on the day of the big match. And among spectators was the injured Laurie Leslie, replaced by Happy in the Scots goal. About a hundred thousand were present when Her Majesty the Queen took her place. Eric Caldo and Johnny Haynes led their teams onto the field before the Scottish and English 11s were presented to Prince Philip. Then Scotland kicked off and almost at once the white-shirted Englishmen were on the attack. In the ninth minute, Bobby Robson scored. Yes, an early shock for the visitors, and England maintaining pressure. Then after ten minutes, Jimmy Greaves put England two up. Before half-time, a third, and slow motion shows a mistake by Happy, pounced on by Greaves. Just my cutter, mate. Scotland took up the tail in the second half and began to look like taking revenge. In three minutes, Dave Mackay's free kick got right through. <laughs> Almost at once, a Davy Wilson header made it 2-3. Intoxicating football. England, however, had their own ideas and drove down towards the Scots goal. A sharp free kick, happy fumbles, a Douglas shot, and it's 4-2. England's fifth came from Bobby Smith. Scotland, still undismayed, now made a great effort. They were rewarded by a goal, credited to Pat Quinn. Then came four English goals in seven minutes, one from Johnny Hayes. Another from Johnny Haynes. Jimmy Greaves gets his third. duly noted by Scots, not to mention Italians, and Smith again with England's ninth. And we'll no get the fares back. But for a clear case of hands, England might have made it ten. Scotch were but of course English fans had more to cheer about. England's victory was overwhelming and well-deserved. So was the Championship Cup, which the Queen, who is patron of the Football Association, presented to Johnny Hayes. It was a match that will long be remembered by soccer fans. Johnny won't forget it in a hurry.